Look what Trump just did on his first day back to work. He's not messing around anymore. President Trump has been back home for less than 48 hours and is already hitting the ground running. After having a highly successful trip abroad, Trump is not wasting any time letting grass under his feet. You see, while Trump was overseas, he had the opportunity to sit down with Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe during G7 summit in Italy. During this sit down, the two powerful world leaders were able to hammer out tougher sanctions for North Korea. The White House said this in a statement on Friday. President Trump and Prime Minister Abe agreed their teams would cooperate to enhance sanctions on North Korea, including by identifying and sanctioning entities that support North Korea's ballistic missile and nuclear programs, the White House said after the two men held a one on one meeting in Sicily. They also agreed to further strengthen the alliance between the United States and Japan. To further each country's capability to deter and defend against threats from North Korea, the statement said. And, now that Donald Trump is home, he's pushing forward with those plans. It has been reported that the United States has sent a third aircraft carrier strike force to the Western Pacific region. This is an apparent warning to North Korea in order to deter future ballistic missile and nuclear programs from moving forward. The that has been dispatched as the Nimitz Carrier Strike Group. It will join the USS Carl Vinson and the USS Ronald Reagan that have already been deployed to the region. Here is more from Conservative Tribune. The Japan News reported that the Nimitz strike group would be deployed to the region for a six month training mission. While the Nimitz is supposed to replace the Vinson, both carriers may be in the Korean Peninsula area until the end of the mission transfer. The OA noted that the presence of three carrier strike groups in the same region was an extremely rare occurrence. The news came one day after Japan and the United States agreed to enforce more serious sanctions on North Korea at the G7 summit in Italy. It also came one day before the latest missile test by the North Korean government. President Trump and Prime Minister Abe agreed their teams would cooperate to enhance sanctions on North Korea, including by identifying and sanctioning entities that support North Korea's ballistic missile and nuclear programs, the White House announced Saturday, according to Reuters. They also agreed to further strengthen the alliance between the United States and Japan, to further each country's capability to deter and defend against threats from North Korea. Then, in the early hours of Monday morning Korea time Sunday evening on the East Coast, North Korea fired yet another missile into the Sea of Japan, according to CNBC. This time, it was a short range Scud missile, the Soviet developed armament favored by Saddam Hussein during his Kuwait invading days. While not one of the newer types that North Korea claims to have launched over the past few weeks, the incident was enough to spur South Korean President Moon Jae in to call a meeting of his National Security Council. And I, Voice of America, the United States is sending a third aircraft carrier strike force to the Western Pacific region in an apparent warning to North Korea to deter its ballistic missile and nuclear programs, two sources have told VOA. The USS Nimitz, one of the world's largest warships, will join two other supercarriers, the USS Carl Vinson and the USS Ronald Reagan, in the Western Pacific, the sources told VOA Steve Herman. The U.S. military has rarely simultaneously deployed three aircraft carriers to the same region. The U.S. military, meanwhile, will test a system to shoot down an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, for the first time next week. It is intended to simulate a North Korean ICBM aimed at the U.S. The Missile Defense Agency said it will test an existing missile defense system on Tuesday to try to intercept an ICBM. The Pentagon has used the ground based Midcourse Defense GMD, system to intercept other types of missiles, but never an ICBM. After eight years of Obama and his insane strategic patience agenda, it is good to see the adults back in charge. For too long, we have allowed North Korea to gain strides in nuclear weapons, which Obama essentially allowed it to happen. About a month ago, Vice President Mike Pence was interviewed on CBS This Morning with host Charlie Rose. Pence told Rose that the crazy fat kid ought to be as frightened as a trapped rabbit. Here is more on that interview. The president's made it clear that while we seek a peaceable solution here, the era of strategic patience is over. For more than a quarter of a century, the United States has negotiated, had talks, waited patiently, he continued. All the while we've seen the regime in North Korea continue its headlong pursuit of nuclear weapons and a ballistic missile program. And the president said that's over. Now, I am not sure how this will play out, but it is something that needs to be done.
Kim Jong-un has not heeded any of the warnings that were given to him. Now, we have to take action in order to stop a madman from popping off anymore. Hopefully, this will end peacefully, but if not I have my confidence in President Trump's leadership. Share if you support President Trump's tough sanctions on North Korea. H slash T Conservative Tribune. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.